Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is not Walter Model, but Mr. Mokolover. I almost said my real name. Um, yeah, let's continue on playing as Hearts in Hearts of Iron 4, of course, as the German Reich. And there has been another comment for my voice cutting out. Now, yesterday's video, apparently, it cut out within... Oh, with the first 45 to 50 seconds after I let my cat out of the room. And then I came back, but my voice completely cut out. I'm exactly not, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is, but I want to assume it's my microphone because it's not the greatest microphone. It is what it is. And I'm pretty sure it's not OBS, but if it was OBS, I have updated that. Uh, but let's continue on. And yesterday I did ask you guys, what are we going to do with West Banat? Now, I'll let you know, it's not going to stay with Serbia. We had one vote for West Banat to stay with Serbia. And because I am a very generous Führer, I'm, I'm a very generous guy here. I'm a dictator, but I do listen to the people. And overall, the country that will get West Banat actually kind of surprised me a little bit, um, was Romania. We had two votes for Romania, one vote for Serbia, and one vote for... Hungry. Now, I don't believe in democracy, but I do believe in making sure that power is correctly adjourned. And yes, it's not a core, but this way Romania looks even more disgusting. The Serbs are further disempowered to dominate the Balkans, which is really my problem. And the Hungarians didn't lose anything, so. Uh, I was actually surprised that people wanted Romania to get West Banat, but you know, whatever. More ethnic troubles down the road, but you know what? That's ne not neither here nor there. But let's continue on playing against the Soviets, as well as the Finns, who are actually already out of manpower. Uh, also, if my microphone does cut out, please let me know again. After, after I record this video, I will go back and double check to make sure that at least the first couple minutes are okay. Because I really don't like, you know when videos just cut out and there's nothing I can do about it. It's really kind of annoying. But the Finns don't have any manpower. Uh, obviously, uh, as I saw a little bit earlier, they're not doing super well. I'm only going to try to keep t kind of talking here just so that hopefully the microphone does not cut out before I think about you know buying another microphone. Because sometimes microphones can be kind of expensive. But then again, uh, I'll look for any sort of other alternative. All right, let's see. And I have, I am keeping track of time today, hopefully. God, I hope so. Uh, okay. Manage license production. Changes. All right. Oh, we need to invade this area. The, these guys need, need more naval... Oh, there are some boys here. Some Soviet boys here. I do have a little bit of coffee, but some Soviet boys in the water. Uh, I did tell some of our soldiers, though, to move around the cabin, specifically this spot, so that... We can use the entire river to defend against Soviet attacks. But here's the reasoning for me not being super worried about Soviet attacks at the moment. Now, you didn't see this, but I did check this. Ooh, look. Oh, wait. Did... Oh, one of those SS divisions died. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, go ahead and retreat. You know, as much as we don't... Oh, you're in... completely encircled. Okay, then. Uh, well, you're fighting to the last man. I apologize for that. I never meant for that to happen. But... Oh well, you know, what's done is done. Quit India movement. Very good. Very good. As, even though you guys are all getting taken out. Uh, let's see. We did Plan Z. We can't do Crossing the Atlantic. Let's do something that we can do. Improve National Spirit. Actually, sounds interesting. But let's do Air Innovations next. Uh, let's see. What was I thinking of? I can't exactly remember now. Ah, the Soviets. So yeah, this SS division is going to die. Whatever. Uh, that actually might make... The SS, or at least Heinrich Himmler, a little more angry. No, let's see, your mood shouldn't be worried. Those divisions already died. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so bad. Don't worry, they were only Dutch. I'm sorry. But whatever, you know. And the microphone's probably going to cut out very soon, because I just took a sip of my coffee. So, Plan Z. Eric, Admiral Leder believes that the British can best be defeated through a policy of surface raiding. Constructing enough battleships and carriers to accomplish this will be a massive task, and will take time, perhaps too much time. On the other hand, our current surface navy is pathetically inadequate, so we need 10 battleships. We're actually we're doing fine on that. Three battle cruisers. I don't really have any. Four carriers will be a big stretch. 20 heavy cruisers will also be a stretch. 20 light cruisers will be easy to make, and 100 destroyers will also be easy to make, and we have 1,800 days to do that. I know I'm not really talking about this, but that's okay. 
here is the deal. I will start making some carriers, but we're going to make, of course, a lot of battleships first. Once the battleships are all done, we'll make a few battle cruisers as well as more carriers and stuff like that. So I'm not really worried about that too much. At the current moment, since we got rid of two SS divisions, let's add in maybe some more. We took out the Netherlands, soldiers from the Netherlands who fought bravely, who didn't die because of their own fault, because of my negligence and completely forgetting the, about the Eastern Front. And I still, I still, I'm going to talk about the Soviet Union very soon, but give me a moment here. Uh, Belgium, you're next. Let's see. Compromise on a moderate recruitment campaign. So 50% general for protest. 25% you get general resigns. Nothing happens. Um, allow the OKW to recruit a small number of specialists and support personnel. You know what? I didn't choose this one last time. Now, will this upset them or will this make them like us a little bit more? Let's try this. I want to see what happens. We get 1,000 more manpower and a little more army XP that we don't need. So, okay, that makes them a little bit more calm by doing that. So, we killed the Dutch boys, but we spared more of the... Belgians. All right, so that at least we know that every division that you recruit makes the SS more loyal, but makes the OKW more frenzic, more crazy. That's good to know. And I'm finally going to tell you about my plan for the uh, Soviets. So I did check, I did tab over, I will say, to the Soviet side to see, you know, their equipment levels, because you know we got a lot of heavy fighting around here. And basically, the Soviets are out of every single type of equipment except for guns. And maybe a few planes. They got quite a few planes, actually. But other than that, their gun production is pathetically weak. It is extremely pathetic. So that's really actually pretty good for us. Oh my goodness, this is so not good. I think I reorganized the front line here. Guys, if you can move, just go ahead. You know, just be careful. I don't want you to be too crazy, too gung-ho. But, you know, don't be, you know attacking for attacking sake. Finland, of course, is doing very well, and we have already taken some Soviet territory up here, which is absolutely great. Very, very great. Uh, we will need more oil, but, you know, we always need more oil. Let's see, what is this? This is a 20-width division. That's only infantry. Uh, 30 under here. We need five more divisions. And that'll be fine. Very nice. Very, very nice. Marines. What is this? You're not doing well enough here. Locating the by the first fast. We have um, radar. Radar will help you track enemy positions. You know, we already have some radar, but oh, oh, we found some potential enemies. Well, we'll we'll get there eventually. It's not really very much of a big deal. So, wow, we're winning against all those soldiers. Very nice, as our soldiers are struggling to move across. Uh, and can we make a small little encirclement? And this is a small encirclement, right? Yeah. Come on, get in here, get in here, guys. Italians are doing great. Italians are doing. An absolutely great job. Doesn't look like we'll actually be able to do an encirclement. Okay, then. Never mind. They just all died anyways. Uh, I love it when that happens. I love it when a plan comes together. But, let's see. No. We shot down three enemy planes. We didn't lose anybody. And we shot or sunk an enemy destroyer. Very good. Very, very nice. It looks like our marines are going to invade. Uh, we do have... Oh, we invaded down here. Great job, guys. Great, great job. Uh, not you. I'm going to ignore this, and you two marines, you'll come here, and you will invade that spot. Wait, did, did we already take that? German Reich. Oh, the, the, oh, the Greeks already took that spot. Great job, guys. Great job. Uh, hopefully we can get the Island Islands as well as Helsinki. That'd be great. That'd be delightful. Absolutely delightful. We got seven tank divisions, which is actually pretty darn good. But yeah, I will be looking for an, another microphone. Um, you know, microphones are not really cheap, but I'll do what I what I can do. You know. Uh, so yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, we're pushing down here adequately, I would say, adequate adequately down here in North Africa with us leading the charge with a few Italian divisions. Obviously, Italy did lose all of this area first, but with the help of National Spain, Vichy France. We're definitely making a comeback in this area, which is really great. Really, really, really great. Come on, tanks. I'm expecting more of you, but I'm being disappointed. Disappointed again. Ah, yes. Uh, are we pushing forward? No. Yeah, one division. Don't be too crazy, guys. Don't be too gung-ho. We still have to invade the United States, which is going to take an extremely long time to do. Uh, well, we invaded Helsinki. 
call that a win. Yesterday, British naval units blockaded their French counterparts, an important naval base in North Africa, issuing an ultimatum for the French to sail to British ports immediately and surrender control of their fleet, or the British would open fire upon their former ally. Wow. Faced with superior firepower, the French accepted the ultimatum, and their fleet is now under British control. Wow. Well, I mean, I guess I kind of understand that. I did do quite a number on the um, British fleet, but that just means they're still the, like this. This a leopard is probably actually a French ship com commandeered by the British. That, regardless, is still sunk. So, go figure. And I'm going to finish up my coffee right here. Hmm. Very good, very, very good. Estonia, Latvia. I do want Rex Commissariat's Ostland on Ukraine. Ukraine, Ukraine, whatever Ukraine it is. Uh, proclaim German, Greater German Reich. Uh, there's really not much else we can do. I do want more stability, but we got roads to build and stuff like that. Maybe a little bit more oil. Definitely will need more oil. We only have 66 days left of fuel. But look, a few things here. Actually, yeah, logistic companies will help the tanks. God. Good lord, when are we going to get them? 75 days. Why did I wait that long? Ah, oh, it's such a bad idea to wait that so long for logistic companies. Go ahead and push if you can. I really don't want to add any more planes. Oh, what was that? Oh no, did we lose something? No. Okay, so we lost an ally. And, and it's only an early destroyer. But we sunk three really French heavy cruisers. We sunk two basically French light cruisers and 23 destroyers. Look, I mean, these are obviously fr French ships. La Palme, Le Mars, La La Rousseuse. I don't know. Sunk by the Bismarck, so I'm go suck on that, France. But, uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I 0% for the, the Nysenau. The Nysenau, that 1936 heavy ship hull. 0%. Um, shit. <sighs> uh, there it is. This ship got hit hard, but it's taken out quite a few ships. That's pretty good. It's design... Really not good. Really not good. But it did a great job. And we sunk another heavy French-British ship. Great job, guys. Really, really great job. And now we are basically patrolling this area with only screens. Because all of our capital ships got hit. I really need carriers. Uh, actually, Stockholm really isn't the best place for this. Let's mark off a couple areas where they should not repair. Like over here. Over here. Um, I always think he's okay. Uh, Lithuania, Estonia, that area, not very smart to do that. Even that's not that great. Stockholm, there are better locations than just Stockholm, because this is going to take quite a while. Uh, you know what? If we need to. I don't mind stealing some more dockyards from the convoys. That's fine with me. Kiel is actually a really good place to repair. Stockholm, eh, whatever. And actually, the... the can I upgrade the ship from the Nassau, or Nassau, maybe it was a panzer ship. No, this is a heavy cruiser. This is a heavy cruiser ship. This is cruiser armor. The, to make it sure this is actually a heavy cruiser, it's because you have this large, a set of large caliber cannons, which makes this uh, a heavier ship. A battery. This has got to be a heavy cruiser. Cruiser engine. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is a heavy cruiser. Regardless, we'll only need more heavy cruisers anyways. Alright, oh, do we lose something here? Please tell me it's not a ship. Only three planes, that's fine. Our attack is going... How's it going? I don't know how's it going. I'm doing well, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, I just need logistic companies. That'll just be my saving grace. Okay, go ahead and stop attacking, because the attrition is just so such garbage. Such garbage. How many men have we lost? We've lost a million in total. Not bad for fighting, you know, all the allies... And the Soviet Union, who's lost over 3 million, and which we've killed 2.6 of those numbers. Uh, go ahead and take the two off. That's good. Stockholm is doing fine. And we sunk. Ah, three destroyers and a heavy cruiser. Great job, guys. Great job. Very nice. Finland is falling very, very well. Awesomeness, awesomeness, awesomeness. And we're obviously, basically, we basically opened up another Soviet front. That's really good. See, boosting ideology in Turkey and the United States. Turkey, how, how fascist are you? 24%, that's pretty good. Uh, the United States is 39% fascist. So, hopefully, our goal is to have two competing fascists fighting for control of the United States. And there go the Finns. Awesome! Look at that German Reich. That is 
tasty. I can almost taste it. So good. Uh, this group will try to take out Leningrad, though. That is my goal. Leningrad, you will be ours. And for the tanks, be, be on a moderate roll. I think that would be nice. Yeah, we got a lot of manpower. That's actually really good. Do we get any resources from that? From taking out Finland some steel? Uh, my guys want to give me... Oh, artillery. Am I lacking? Oh, I actually have a deficit of artillery. Hmm. Well... We definitely need more artillery. I could... We already have so many naval bombers. I don't mind doing that. That'll reduce our need on aluminum. Kind of a good trade. Ah, and we now we get better guns. 1942, of course. Uh, since we are currently using... No, no, no. Logistic companies? Yeah, we're researching logistic companies. So it's okay to go ahead and improve our infantry. Now, guns. We got plenty of guns at the moment. Not really a big concern of mine. Screw it, just keep it at 8. I don't know, just keep it at 8. That seems like a good number. Okay, keep it at 7. Seven's a good number. Seven's a lucky number, right? And we gotta keep in mind that we need to re replace this 1936 heavy ship hull with better, uh, better, you know, better ships. Uh, the fall of Leningrad, very good. The birthplace of the revolution, the Russian revolution, has fallen to advancing German forces. Sporadic fighting can still be heard from some suburbs, but a strange calm appears to have settled over the rest of the ruined city. City, excuse me. Uh, very good. Great. The tanks did a phenomenal job. That was actually really quick. And a striking blow to Stalin's regime. No. Oh, this is not looking good. Go ahead and be a little more careful. They do have a lot of, you know, supplies through here. As we are trying to beat them in North Africa. Hopefully some of our allies will attack through the north. But we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Um, da -da -da. And we're doing Institute Press Censorship so that we are increasingly more and more fascist. Even though it doesn't really matter. I'm doing that for, for the funds. And Soviet Union, you know, I'm invading you because you attacked me first, but invasions work super well when you don't defend your own border. I don't know if you knew that, but I'm just going to let you know about that for now. If you don't defend your border, people are going to come in. And you know what? Actually, that's extremely... You can see that's actually really good advice that there are a lot of countries that could take, take the other advice today. Oh, we actually lost a destroyer. That's not good. But... Just gonna put that out there, you know, if you don't defend your border, some people will eventually find their way over there. Good or bad, you know, you never know, but I'm not gonna bring up politics right now, of course not, no, I just wanna kill the Soviet Union. Okay then. Alright, let's go on. Uh, yeah, attacking over the river, probably not my greatest idea, but, you know, it could be, I could be attacking with only infantry. So, there is that. No, oh, this is not looking good, but if we can break through here, I think we'd be okay. And, we are attacking... The rest of our with our rest of our soldiers over here. We're doing actually pretty good in northern Ukraine territory. Uh, losses 1.1 million versus three and a half million by the Soviets. Actually, how close is Japan to capitulating the Raj? But fairly close. Fairly close. Oh, we got better torpedoes. Yes. That sounds. I sounded a little bit too enthusiastic about that. Um, cruiser holes. Yeah, we'll definitely need that. But I'm really thinking we're going to need some planes. Really, really gonna need some. Well, we'll need better planes, but really, uh, ships. That's what I'm really trying to get at. Ships, ships, ships. Better radar. Actually, integrated fire control. Radar four. Yes, please. More heavy attack. Yes. More light attack. M better anti-air. Yes. That's actually extremely good in my opinion. Extraction. That can wait. Uh, infantry. And eh, that stuff is okay. Yeah. It's just. We're, just, ah, oh, there's so much I want to do. So much I want to do. 1940s, fighters, close air support, bombers. We could make better bombers, but for right now, let's go ahead and start researching. Ooh, carriers. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. You get two different types of carriers, the converted battleship hull or the converted cruiser hull. Both those, in my opinion, probably suck. That's why I'm going to make 1940s carriers. So I'm dedicating one full research slot now to carrier production. Alright guys, you can just go ahead and just... Okay, you basically recommit to the battle with fresher soldiers. Not a bad idea. Not a terribly bad idea at all. Uh, oh, you guys have no supplies. And actually, you guys did a great job. So, actually, what we're going to do with you guys... Oh, baby. You two are going to invade from... Let's go here to here. And then we'll invade you two who will get more supplies very soon from here to here. 
And then you guys from same place to about oh there just because we can. That'll be nice. That'll be great. Have a good time. And I'm going to have to stop having so many planes move out at once. We need more fuel or you know buy more fuel. What are we producing? Better infrastructure and places that we really don't need it at the moment. You guys can go down. We can repair this infrastructure later on. It's already pretty good as is. We're getting a little more fuel. And you know what? As I'm recording this, someone just commented that we should give West Benant uh, to Romania. Well, to the person who wants that, I've already done it. Actually, Kingdom of Romania. You don't have that as a core. I thought I already made you that. Oh, I guess that won't exactly work. Whatever. I don't really care. It's their territory now. The Romanians will be stronger. Even though part of the country already rebelled against me and the Axis. But, you know, I don't hold grudges. I don't hold super massive grudges. You, you know. Totally not. But, uh, what I'm thinking of, after the Soviet Union does collapse, I'm probably going to play this, uh, maybe a little bit more once we have fully capitulated pretty much any enemy, any potential enemy in this part of the world, and, you know, the, the Eastern Hemisphere, just because I will have to spend quite a bit of time invading Brazil, going through Venezuela, through Colombia, through Central America, to Mexico and invade Florida and lose like 20 divisions there. That's probably what I'm going to have to end up doing so that we keep moving on in our campaigns. Uh, let's see, heavy ship, heavy ship, heavy ship, 1940 subs. We are making a few subs, that's pretty nice. Uh, oh wait, we got a lot of XP. Great, 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 great. Get better torpedoes. Let's see if we can actually upgrade uh, our current submarines. That'll be good. Uh, yeah. Better torpedoes, please. Oh, uh, you already have level 3, level 2, level 3. Good. And class 7. That's good. So we did the bottom 2. That's good. That's good. That's pretty good. Uh, subs. Next one will obviously make a little better. Cruiser holes. Obviously, we haven't done very much with these hipper classes. But, you know, if we can improve them, so be it. Uh, actually, let's put some medium batteries on. I don't care much for torpedo attacks by heavy cruisers. That's kind of okay with me. I'm not going to make any more at the moment. Just because we don't really need them at the moment. Uh, I will continue to upgrade this as time goes on. We need secondary batteries as well as better radar. That'll be fine. Hipper class. If we have any you know, heavy cruisers left, I will definitely you know, upgrade them and whatnot. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad. We only have 15 days of fuel left, Jesus. Stop the tanks. Stop, stop the tanks. They, they, they're great and all, but... Really. God dang it, you're still attacking. God dang it. <laughs> um, that did help the fuel conditions a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Uh, befriend Japan. Well, we don't really need to do that yet. We're kind of already are friends with them. Rocketry could help. Rocket site construction speed and more nuclear and rocketry tech. Uh, but here's something else I wa did want to tell you guys. Because I declared war on Poland earlier, obviously we're locked out of Danziger War. Now, eventually, when the Soviet Union is done and we have begun an invasion of the Americas, I will do I will release Poland as a Reichsprotectorate. Then I can do Danziger War probably, and then do and bypass around the Maginot, War with France, Operation Tannenbaum and then reintegrate Luxembourg and Alsace-Lorraine so that we can still get them and their manpower. That is my goal. Uh, right now, let's do... We don't really need the Ostwald, but land for construction speed will come in handy actually very much. Let's do that. And you'll see why when I invade the United States, if you know how I play and, and do invasions. Good lord, I need more logi logistic companies. Come on! <laughs> come on, I need you guys. <laughs> you were the chosen one. I can't believe I forgot that. How How is this? Oh my goodness. Soviets. I haven't even called the Japanese into the war. What are you doing? Your goal is to get to the Urals, and since we're not, we don't even have the Japanese in the war, I'm just planning on taking everything by the time we're done here. 1942, 42 naval stuff. Ah, uh, better... Oh, Destroyer torpedo attack. Better torpedo attack. Sound like a lot of fun. Carriers, doesn't really matter. Better battleship organization. Let's do that. that. Sounds like fun. Actually, I should have done more convoy stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh. Actually, 
That's one less factory I can use for aluminum, but one more factory I can get for more fuel. Very good. Tanks, tanks. My boys, please. You're killing yourselves, please. Don't do that. Don't do that. But if you're going to do that, here's some extra help. Awesome. Uh, you guys, yeah, they've put a lot of soldiers over here. Uh, 1.23, a little less than 4, not bad, not bad. Oh, well, it looks like my marines didn't really need to be used over here. Um, alright, well, so be it. Yeah, I can't win them all. Actually, we already did win them all, which is fine with me, so go ahead and go over here, and then come over here, and then we'll have it done. Estonia will be ours, and you know what, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's have a little bit of fun by having a recruitment drive in Lithuania. I want a massive recruitment campaign. And we get... Oh, Waffen SS. No manpower. Grenadier, 20 combat width. And a actually a very pretty decent, you know, division. That's something I would definitely use. Alright, uh, alright. Sieb Dietrich, do we use uh, Hasse von Manteuffel? I think last time. Whatever, we'll just use him again, and we'll put you under, once again, Heinrich Himmler. Now, Himmler, don't lose these divisions. You know, as much as they do love you, and they do want to support you, please, don't lose those divisions. Oh, no. General resigns in protest, citing poor health. No, not Ernst Eberhard Hell has resigned his commission immediately. It is, however, an open secret that... Ernst Eberhard Hell was an outspoken critic of the government's policy regarding the Waffen-SS, particular decision to allow foreign volunteers to serve in the SS divisions. Reportedly, Ernst Eberhard Hell insisted on saying his goodbyes to the Führer in person, which led to a heated discussion between the two about the allocation of resources in the war effort. Guys, it's just a grind. We will get there eventually. Make no mistake. Several other officers in the Wehrmacht have voiced similar concerns and have indicated they might consider following him. Uh, try to convince him? Yes, his duty is more important. Please. I, I actually really like this guy. Because th there's no one else here who has that type of hat. I mean, my god. This is one of the best hats ever created. And actually, uh, let's go ahead and reform the line there. Just because. And I am watching the time. We should be done fairly soon. Fairly soon. Go ahead and do th something like that. Prepare yourselves for the oncoming final push. Whatever you might want to call it. Uh, final victory, final solution, you know, whatever. But, yeah, I mean... Oh, there goes the fuel. Oh, no. Um, yeah, fuel. You haven't made any heavy ships yet. God dang it. It's October. It's still not November yet. Still repairing. And <laughs> he was wounded. Um, I guess he didn't leave, but he got wounded. Oh, my gosh. That's so mean. That's so bad. Oh, God. That's... that's... Oh, that's kind of that's something for you. That's definitely something for you. Hey, right, uh, fine. I won't retire, but I will get injured instead. Oh my goodness, that's too funny. All right, put you back on the coasts. Uh, for now, since these guys are helping with resistance, just put them in like the Baltic countries, which I really, really wish there was an option. Even though yes, we have Ostland and Ukraine, we could have like the United Baltic Duchy. I would love to see something like that come about again. But, uh, obviously that is not for this episode, or for this unmodded Hoi 4. Well, I mean, I guess we got a couple mods in here, like colored buttons, colored events. Don't you love color? But, uh, yeah. That'd be really cool to reform, form, like, the Kaiserreich universe at the end of, like, World War II in vanilla. Oh, yes, we just did it. We just did it. Yes. Good. Now, put this on everything. Reduce the amount of supplies everyone uses, which does affect, um... Well, maybe some weight, recovery rate, but not too much. Organization is barely affected. Armor, piercing, costs a little bit more manpower, but the fuel usage actually might save this in the end. Coasts don't need it. Marines definitely need it because when they invade, they won't. Might, they might not have a lot of supply. Thin artillery, U2. Yeah, I might use up all of my support companies, but that's worth it. I'm worth it. Oh, we need a lot more artillery and motorized divisions. Oh, God. Um... Yeah, motorized. Yeah, you need that. Oh, we can make better of this. Yeah, do that. Yeah, we could use more military factories. But we'll definitely get some more in the coming days. And actually, support equipment. We got quite a bit. Quite a bit of support equipment. Awesome. And now, basically, our lines have almost kind of met up with each other, which is pretty, pretty good. Pretty darn good as we form up another, the fresh front line. 
And we do have someone here. The SS Division's Kurt Student Wounded. Very good. Awesome. With a Waffen SS here. And we are literally running out of supplies as the Italians and the Mexicans are invading Malta. Now that's definitely something you don't ever think you would say. Oh, we can do this. You know what? Let's do that. You know what? We're going to lose factories. I'm going to rearrange how, how much of what we're going to produce. But to end this episode, we will release the Republic of Balaris, which will be named as Reichs Commissariat Oslin. To achieve some sort of uh, victory. Now, this is a, not the final victory we wanted, but this is definitely a victory in the steps taken to make sure that we do very well. Reichs Commissariat Oslin. And we did lose... Honestly... Not that many factories. We, we gained 17. Wait, what? We gained 17 factories. It's probably because they are trading with us now. Oh, we still kept Mamel. That's so great. Awesome. And who's owning this? Hendrik Hos Lose. Well, very cool. With that in mind, guys, uh, if the audio cut out again, I really do apologize. It's I've got to look more into that. But with that in mind, we did a really great job. There is a massive British fleet in the Mediterranean still, which we got to take out. And honestly, we are doing a slow but very steady, very gentle push into the Soviet Union. So, there's that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you are new. Wait, what? And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to push into that there Soviet bear. Thanks for watching, guys.